We all know TikTok has taken off. In fact, Epic Gardening is over on TikTok. We're almost at 2 million followers over there. So check us out if you want, but also check out some of these crazy videos. I see them scrolling on my feed all the time. They get sent to me. Let's take a look at some of these viral TikToks and see if we can explain what's going on from a gardener's perspective. First up, we have this one here where it looks like this sort of cloth fabric is being spun around a ton and then magically you have these beautifully cut baby greens coming out the other side. This is actually completely legit. What this is is a quick cut greens harvester. It's actually a really popular market gardening tool that makes use of really simple implements. So they engineered it with just a simple hand drill that goes in the side and then it spins a little crank and that cranks this little cloth apparatus that brushes the baby greens into the cutting implement and then as you can see on the other side you just get a really nice baby green that you can take to the farmer's market or to the restaurants and then they use a greens bubbler here to wash all of the debris off a lot of the times that's just maybe some air stones in a sink. And then the final section here, what they'll do is they'll use a spinner. A lot of my friends in the market gardening movement actually take a laundry machine and they convert it into something that they can throw the greens in and it spins all the water off, like just a huge salad spinner. So this is a very popular and effective way to cut a lot of baby greens at once using the quick cut greens harvester. Next up, we have what looks like an otherworldly situation here. This guy is cutting mangoes on, basically looks like mango heaven. And he sort of has this weird looking mango. It's huge. He's got this big knife and he cuts straight through the middle, which is weird because mangoes have a big seed. It looks like this has no seed at all. In fact, it does have a seed. It's just that he very strategically cut the side that didn't, making it look like it was a full seedless half. But in fact, it is a type of mango called the Maha Chinook. It is a specific cultivar grown in Thailand. It's very, very big and it's a hybrid cultivar. So as you can see, they sort of have maximized the mango production in this area of Thailand. It's very popular. And with that little ladle, I'm sure that tastes absolutely delicious because mango is by far one of my favorite tropical fruits. Here we have a dragon fruit farm that it looks like they're sort of pumping swampy water up right next to the farm. Now this kind of seems weird, but it's actually very intelligent. This is an ancient technique, I believe used by the Aztecs called chinampas, which is basically trench agriculture or trench irrigated agriculture. So what they'll do is they will take a bunch of trenches. So they'll dig a trench, they'll have a hill, trench hill and they'll fill those up with water and what happens is you know a water pond is sort of a natural accumulator of matter and organic matter which will then rot and be decomposed and that that water ends up being pretty nutrient rich and so what they're doing here is they're just taking a pump and pumping up that sort of silty sludge, which is a mixture of water and soil, right up next to the dragon fruit. And if you look what's happening, it's actually smothering that low-lying sort of grass or cover crop that's right next to the dragon fruit, which is likely to kill it off, or it may over time kill it off, which breaks that down and eventually makes it back into the trench for this sort of recycling system. So it's a really clever way to irrigate a really long line of crops like this. And I have to say for dragon fruit, it seems very effective. What do we have here? We have another one of my favorite crops, potatoes. This is just a very clever way to plant potatoes. It looks like there's two people on this. It seems like it's powered by some sort of motor, but basically all that they're doing is they are having the potatoes run through a conveyor that drops them at a specific spacing. It looks like probably a about six inches, maybe a foot or so. And then this implement in the front will open it up. So it's the part you can't see. It's where the guy in the, the front is kind of driving that thing forward. It opens the soil up. The potato will drop right down in the middle. And then the thing you can see on the back is covering it back up. So this is just a transplanter. It looks like it's a two man potato transplanter, which I have to say, I kind of want. Next up, we have a loofah cube. It's kind of weird, but you guys know I love loofah gourds. I've grown them multiple times here at my house. Certainly not this many, but last year we had, I don't know, about a dozen or so. So it was a pretty good harvest. Now what you're seeing here is the aftermath of the loofah grow. So this is all the interior fiber of the loofah. These ones have been compressed and dried and it looks like they're just rehydrating these, perhaps to go ahead and process them up. Sometimes you will mix them in a bar of soap so you have a nice abrasive while you're cleaning yourself or sometimes you're just going to store them in a compressed manner, then rehydrate them for sale later. So what we have on this one here is just a really clever way to transplant without breaking your back. I mean, these farmers here are probably 
farmers who have farmed for quite some time. And I think anything you can do, ergonomically speaking, is going to preserve your body, because gardening does take a toll on the body, and this is really more farming than gardening. So what you have here is just a tool that makes a depression in the soil, looks like they've filled it up with water already, maybe to just pre-irrigate it, and then they're dropping it down the tube and then lifting up, and at the same time kind of releasing that handle so the soil will then fall around it. Maybe that's also why the water's in there, so it helps fill that soil right back around it, but it just looks like a really clever way to transplant. You don't have to do any bending over. The only real work here is just the slamming action of getting it down into the soil and just plopping that seedling right in. So this one here, or variants of this one, have been making it all over the place on the internet, especially on TikTok. And this, I guess, is what you call the chalky orange that is way too juicy for its own good. So already you can see this orange has this sort of white film on it, and then it's the juiciest orange you will ever see. The juice just keeps pouring out of it. Now the first thing I'll say is, what is that white chalky stuff? Well, it turns out it's actually a calcium carbonate spray. You can actually see it on the leaves as well, and it's a protectant against sun scald for these oranges. If you take a look at the actual orange itself, the skin is very, very thin. There's not a lot of rind, and that's just a particular feature of this variety of orange. It needs a little more protection than its own rind is even giving it. A lot of other varieties have a rind that's maybe a quarter of an inch thick. It's perfectly fine. So that's a protectant. It also helps with some pest and disease issues. And then what you have on the inside, it looks like a seedless hybrid orange cultivar that has been bred clearly for its juice. So certainly one of the more striking things you'll see on TikTok right now, as far as gardening goes. I don't know about you, but I definitely want a pint of that orange juice. There are a ton of viral crazy hacks out there. You guys know we've done a series on this, so I encourage you to watch our Gardener's React series. And please drop down in the comments the next videos you want us to react to, because it is so fun looking at all the different creative ways that people grow around the world and seeing if they are fact or fiction. Until next time, good luck in the garden and keep on growing.